All right, so let's continue with a few more things about operant conditioning. First off, the reinforcement schedule is pretty important, and we need to be aware that there are certain different types, what they are, and let's define those and work with those. So the frequency in which the rewards are offered, and each reward schedule has predictable effects on the rate of response. Fixed ratio is maybe a fixed number of responses in order to receive the reward. So maybe the rat has to push a button three times, you get the dog to bark three times, the dog gets a treat. And dogs apparently have been proven to tr to be able to count to at least up to five. So if you tell the dog to do this, the dog hopefully will associate that number and learn it. I mean, they don't innately know this, obviously. You have to teach them, but they can count to an extent. Uh, fixed intervals are where the fixed amount of time between the stimulus and the reward. The animals do have a sense of time. So this is kind of like how cows or goats return to the barn to be milked. Now, granted, if they get full at the same time every day, I think that has something to do with it too. But cows know, hey, it's the end of the day. We need to go back in. I think chickens automatically go back to the coop at the end of the day. They know that's a place of safety. So I guess that's kind of a reward to some extent too. They also know they're going to get fed here or there. So Fixed intervals are very important for animals too. They 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 have a sense they have a circadian clock. They have an idea of what's going on during the day. Variable ratios are when the number of responses are going to be variant. So maybe you get the give the dog a treat every three times he barks. Maybe you get him to do it every five times, then one time, then four times, and you just kind of mix it up a little bit. This is going to be very effective for when you're trying to train animals. You usually start with a fixed ratio, so the animal knows it's going to get a reward and it knows to do this, but then you're eventually going to move to a variable ratio because you want the animal to do the behavior without having to reward it every single time that it does that. Variable intervals are reinforcing after varying amounts of time. So like, for example, it's a bad example, but studying for pop quizzes or something like that. You don't know when a pop quiz is going to be given, so you study all the time so that if there is a pop quiz, you're ready to go. Um, and you're not too far behind on studying material and learning material as well. It's hard to get rid of variable ratio and interval behaviors in the animals or in humans because these behaviors, you never know when they're going to win out. Fishing is a good example of this. You go to fish and you may catch something. It may take you three casts. It may take you five casts. It may take you five hours of fishing before you finally get it. But once you do, you get that high that comes off of that. Gambling is very similar. You know, I buy a scratch off. I've got tickets right here. And this ticket didn't win. This ticket didn't win. But this ticket, I got like $4 because I got the Powerball right. So I need to go cash that in. You know, gambling can be addictive in that respect. Checking email. I check my email constantly. I have several emails that I keep for different purposes. And I have personal email, work email, other work email, things like that. And so I'm constantly checking my email because I need to see if it's something I need to be aware of right now. We check our phones. Our phones are probably the worst thing in the world for us on this because we're constantly checking our phones, seeing what the new... What, what, what's new on here? Oh, I got a new app notification, another message from Discord, another message from Messenger, another text from a friend, another snap from a Snapchat. I don't do any of, I don't do that, but you get the idea that these things that are constantly going on, this is why I got rid of my Facebook years ago, because I would sit there and refresh, refresh, refresh. And I know some of y'all are like, really, Facebook? Who does Facebook anymore? Well, I, I, I mean, this is 10 years ago that I'm talking about, plus. So be, you can become addicted, addicted to this stuff, and it's just... That's why these variable ratios are very hard to get rid of once you get something on a variable ratio. So I guess it makes sense when you think about why is the dog willing to keep doing this when it was used to a fixed ratio. Well, now a variable, you do that too. Extinction is when the response rate declines and the reinforcement gets withheld. It's very difficult, again, to make the, vari the variable rates go extinct because there's always the chance of a payout. There's always a chance of something happening. This is where a lot of superstitions come from, if you think about that. So it's like superstitions, you know, don't walk under ladders. And you, so you never walk under a ladder. But then you walk under a ladder one time, you don't even realize what you were doing, and something bad happened to you that day. You know, your car blew a flat or something like that. It, it had to be the ladder. It had to be that. Or the black cat went across your path. Or somebody broke a mirror. Or you put on the wrong pair of socks that day because those are not Friday socks or whatever. Whatever. That's the type of thing that goes on. I know a lot of people do this in sports. They get very superstitious around sports. And because you know we won the game and I was wearing this pair of underwear or that pair of socks or I was wearing my shoes tied like this and I got to repeat that again in order for this behavior, for that reward to pop out again. 
And, that, and that's where we get with superstitions there. So it's a type of operant conditioning. This is why a lot of training proceeds from fixed ratios to intervals because fixed ratios, they can easily go extinct. It, variables, not so much. So I'm going to stop right here and we're going to get into the next topic shortly.